Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to Wisfit Tea. Today I have my August book haul. I got quite a few books again in August, so I will be hauling them and I also have unboxing, so I think I think we're just gonna do it like we did the last time and start with the unboxings because I'm super excited for these boxes. I have these two packages that I got in the mail today. So we'll start with the smaller one, I think. I'm so excited for this book! Alright, I got this book for review. Thank you so much to the German publisher CBT Verlag and the Random House Publishing Group in Germany. I got nerfed by Jan Ryan. Jan? I don't know. Anyway, this is so exciting. This will be a movie really soon. And I don't know if you've watched the trailer because it's so awesome and really had me so intrigued in the story. So what I get from this is that Nerf is this online game app kind of thing where you can decide if you want to be a player or a watcher. And the players are the ones who get theirs and to play the game. Um, they have to do silly things or maybe steal something, um, do some kind of theirs and record themselves by doing it. And the watchers, I don't know if they just watch at their phones or I think they have to be at the same place and sort of film it as well and watch, I think. Um, so that's what I know and I know that it will get like really intense and everything will sort of get out of hand within this book, within this story. Um, and I can't wait to read this and watch the movie afterwards and yeah, I'm really really excited to read this and to review it for you guys as well. Some more books from the publisher. Like honestly, the German people at Random House are just so nice with sending me review copies. They're spoiling me, guys. They're spoiling me. Ah, this is so exciting. I thought that this was... This package was huge. You saw it, right? And I was so sure that there were gonna be like at least two books. But it's just one really, really huge book. Dum, dum, da, da. It is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy by Pierce Brown. And in English it's called Golden Sun. And in German it's called Red Rising and House der Feinde. So in the house of the enemy. Thank you so much to the Heine Verlag for sending me this. Um, I loved Red Rising when I read it. I read it in English. Um, it was a five star read and I really, really loved it. And I read the second book in English and I just didn't really like it. Also because I didn't really understand it. So when I saw that Heine had book two and three in German for me to request for a review, I said, yes, please. I would love to read them again and to review them, to read this one and the third and final book in a trilogy in German, because I think that I will enjoy it more if I actually understand what's happening. So Red Rising is a dystopian that it's not really YA because it's really cruel and it's really like gory and not really for young people um, but I loved it and I honestly don't really know how to describe it but it's like a dystopian society where people are being divided in a really strict class system based on their colors and um, it's about a rebellion trying to overthrow that whole system and it has so many layers and such great world building and I'm super excited. Alright, so those are the two review copies, the two unboxings that I had and now let's get into the other books that I got over the last month. First off, I have four books that I actually bought during Booktuberfan and if you're wondering, Sarah, Booktuberfan was in July, why didn't you hold them back then? It's because they arrived in August, so I didn't get a chance to hold them until now but I'm so excited that I have them and that is the Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King, all of course by Maggie Stiefvater. I'm so excited to finally read The Raven Cycle. Um, I've been wanting to read them for so long. Everyone seems to have read them except for me. So I'm so excited to finally jump on that hype train and just finally fall in love with the series as well. I'm so happy I have these books now. They were pretty cheap during that huge book depository sale during the Booktuber fan. So I thought I should finally get them. 
And then of course I also bought Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by Jack Vaughan. Not really so much by J.K. Rowling, by Jack Vaughan. This is said to be the 8th book in the Harry Potter series. It's of course only a play, um, a script for the play that is being um, shown in London and it's not really story 8 for me but I had to get it of course, it was overly expensive and I thought it was okay. At least it's really really pretty on my shelves. Now I have one more book that I bought. I actually did pretty well with not buying too many books this month um, and the book that I bought was The Archive by Victoria Schwab. I actually also bought The Unbound but they said they would have it and now they didn't so I have to wait for like quite a while before I can get um, The Unbound before they can get it to me so that's a bit disappointing but I have another copy of The Unbound here to read for the Traveling Book Project Germany so it's alright. Um, I love this book very much. I feel like The Archive is a very hard book to summarize, but it's about this girl who works at the archive where people's life stories are being collected. Um, it's sort of like a library, but instead of books, there are like replicas of the people who have the collected life story of that person inside them. And these histories sometimes try to escape and Mackenzie, our main character, has the job to basically put them back into the archive when, when they escape. And the first book was this one. This was really, really, really good. I'm so happy I own it and I can't wait to read the second book. So, yeah. Next one are two books that I didn't buy, but I traded them in exchange for other books with two really great people that I met through Goodreads, so that's always awesome. And the first one that I got through that exchange is this beautiful little book. Um, it's called Im Jahr des Affen, so in the year of the monkey, um, by Kudulu, I can not for the life of me pronounce that author's name. And this is actually without the dust jacket, because the girl who traded with me didn't have it, um, but she said that she would send it to me later, because I think she moved and it's still at her old flat or something. But um, I actually also like this without the dust jacket. I'm not too sure what it is about, but what I read sounded pretty good when I read the summary. I think it's about a Chinese girl who moves to Germany. Her father um, has a Chinese restaurant and she just tries to fit in with the other people. And it's sort of about um, the culture and clash between those two cultures. So I'm excited to read this. I like that it was originally written in German because I'm trying to read more German books. Um, like untranslated German books of course um, to actually like have some more German authors that I actually read because I am German and I shouldn't just be reading English and American authors but also supporting a bit of like my local authors so that's interesting and I'm excited to read that. So the next book I also traded was one that I've been wanting to read for a long time and that is A Boy in the Striped Pyjamas by John Boyne. Um, I'm not too sure what it's about. I know that it's set in World War II. I think it's set in Germany, but I'm not sure. Um, it is about the Nazi time, about concentration camps and about World War II. So I'm really excited. I'm also excited because this is by an Irish author, I believe. Um, and it still tells German history, so I'm excited to see how they do that. And um, I think this will be a very sad but very important read and it's gonna be a bit more educational. So I'm excited to read this. Now the last thing I have for you are the two books that came in my Illumicrate box. I have a whole unboxing for last month's Illumicrate. It was amazing. I loved it so very much. Um, and yes, there are two books in this one subscription box, which is just amazing. So please check out my video if you want to. Um, I unbox everything. There are so many great things in there and you can actually get your box cheaper um, with 10% off with using my code for T10, which is always super exciting. So yeah, I would totally recommend you check that out. Anyway, the two books that came in that subscription box are Neverknife by Jack Kristoff, which I've read and which is so so awesome. So Nevernight is about the 16 year old girl Nina who wants to be an assassin and kill the people responsible for her father's death 
and the imprisonment of Mia's mother when she was only 10 years old. So for the last six years she sort of been training and learning her abilities because she is also able to have control um, over shadows. So she has this creature which is a cat made out of shadows who she can talk to um, and she is able to cloak herself into shadows so that she can't really be seen if she doesn't want to. Um, and that's just so awesome. And then she wants to go to this red church, which is a school for assassins, to train to become one of them and to eventually take revenge on the people who have taken everything from her. I have read this book, I rated it 5 stars, well almost 5 stars, 4.75 I think. Um, and it was so amazing and yeah. The second book that came in my Illumicrate is The Graces by Laurie Evie. Um, and I don't know too much about this, um, this is actually an ARC, the finished copy is even prettier. Um, but I think this has to do with witches and I'm really excited to read it. Um, don't know too much about it but I've heard a lot of hype and I'm really excited to hopefully read this very soon. Alright, so these are the books that I got over the course of August and a bit the beginning of September. Thanks so much to Illumicrate for having me be a rep. Um, for the publishers who sent me these copies and to the lovely people who traded their works with me. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you have read or want to read any of these and um, if you've bought any exciting books recently, let me know about them as well. Thanks so very much for watching and goodbye! Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to Books for Tea. Today I have a spoiler-free review for an amazing book I recently read. Have a Night by Jay Krista, and yes, I own two copies. It's that good.